Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Ashita with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make keto cauliflower nuggets. So I love this recipe because it's simple, it's quick, it's something that I could throw in my air fryer and there was a point in time where I was on a keto journey and this literally, I promise you guys, was my favorite recipe because it's quick, throw it in the air fryer, season it real quick and it's delicious and it was actually very filling. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys how to make it at home. Alright guys, let's get into this ingredient list. So I made sure to separate the list into two sides, a wet side and a dry side. The two important things that you're going to need from this ingredient list is the almond milk and the almond flour. You need those two things in order to make it keto and to make it vegan. The other things, if you don't have a certain type of seasoning, please feel free to switch it out for something else. I have made this recipe foolproof and I'll explain it more as we go on, but whatever seasonings you have, just use that. Alright, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to get right into things as you can see. Right now, all you can see that I'm doing is cleaning the cauliflower. Um, if your cauliflower is on its way out, you just cut off any of the, you know, brown parts. And then I'm going to show you, you guys the size of the cauliflower that is best for you to cut the cauliflower florets in. This is important because since we're using an air fryer, you want to make sure that all of the cauliflower nuggets are the same size because you don't want some to be cooked and some not to be cooked and then you'll be buying to raw cauliflower so we don't want that so this size is the size that you want for all your cauliflower and that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna make sure they're all similar in size also I'm working on a video now on how to properly clean cauliflower in this section, you can see that the cauliflower is already clean, but people don't wash their cauliflower with certain things that's necessary to make sure that you remove any type of pesticides or impurities from your food. So I'm going to make sure I link that in this video as well. Make sure you check that out. All right, so now it's time for us to get started. The first thing that I'm going to put inside a bowl is almond flour. Um... I use the Aldi's brand of olive flour and I ran down of that so I added a little bit more but whatever almond flour that you can find that's of an affordable price you can use that because sometimes they can get a little pricey so I think Aldi's has the best and cheapest brand but that's just my opinion I added my paprika my sazon some of my onion powder my dried herbs all of the ingredients that are listed on the dry side, now's your time to add them all into that bowl. So now I'm just going to mix everything together with the spoon and once that's mixed, now let's move over to our wet ingredients. You're going to need your almond milk. Whatever brand that you have is fine. I usually use my Aldi's brand um, almond milk when it comes to cooking and something that's like more expensive, I'll use that for like something like my daughter's cereal or whatever. Just a quick tip because you know when it comes to cooking you're going to be covering up the flavors anyway. So now this part is one of my favorite parts of the video because I'm going to show you guys how to make an egg-like batter, well mixture, for your cauliflower nuggets without any eggs.
Ta-da! Didn't I tell you? If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to subscribe and like. But look, I told you guys, we just made eggs. There you go. There's the egg mixture that you need for your fried nuggets. All right, so here I just set up like a little station and this is what I'm going to use to basically create the nuggets now. So there's actually three ways that you can make these. Like I said, I've made this so many times on the fly. And so I'm going to show you guys the three ways that you can do it. So you're getting a three for one deal here, okay? So the first way you can do it is you can put the cauliflower into the flour and then into your fake egg mixture and then you can put it back into the flour which is what I'm doing right now if you have um like a salad spinner use the basket from that and that's what we used to do in the restaurants but again then you could triple coat it get like a slotted spoon take it out put it in there and then triple coat it so that's one way you can do it and then I'm gonna show you guys a few pieces like this so with this recipe if you don't want to use an air fryer if you don't have an air fryer you can fry it and if you fry it I would recommend you do the three coat method so if you want to fry it in oil like grapeseed oil then you can use that method and it takes a little bit long then I'm gonna show you guys the second method which is a little bit easier All right, so now it's time for the second way. The second way is literally take your cauliflower pieces and throw them right into that egg-like mixture, and then you can put them into the almond flour. This method is a method that I use um, most of the time, I would say. Like, if I like really want to make sure this tastes how I want it to taste, that's the method that I'll use. I'll use this method because you'll see later on in the video I feel like it makes it a little bit more crunchier so this is my favorite method the second method literally throw it right into the egg like mixture and then after you do that you put it right into the almond flour if you have an air fryer I would recommend this method if you're frying on the stove top with oil then I would recommend the first method finishing up this method and I'm gonna show you guys how to air fry it properly the third method that you can use literally is I'll just season when I'm like in a rush 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 I'll season my cauliflower and I'll literally throw the almond flour and a little bit of milk on top and mix it together that's my third method I don't show you guys in this video but that's like if you're you're hungry and you need something to eat you literally mix it all together in one bowl, like it's like a wet dredge, and you throw that in the air fryer. Now those are three different ways you can make this. So the first step, don't forget, that's if you're gonna fry it. The second step is for the air fryer, and the third way you can do it on the air fryer as well. So I still have some left over, I didn't use all of them. And um, you can bag up these things if you want, and save them for next time. Like, I don't like to waste a lot of things, and it's not like, you know, the perk is that, you know, it's it's not eggs, it's not real eggs. Everything is vegan, so it's not like cross-contamination. So that's why I like to cook. I mostly eat vegan food, and this is one of the reasons because you don't have to worry about all the cross-contamination and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Just label it in the fridge so you can know how long you kept it in there, and you're good to go. So now, it's time to air fry. I'm showing you guys pretty much how I put this in the air fryer. You just want to make sure that they're all flat and that, um, you know, there's enough space in between them so that the, the, the heat could get in between each nugget. Alright, so after I make sure that all of my cauliflower nugget pieces are nice and flat, I'm going to get some pan spray. Whatever pan spray you have, you can use. Sesame oil spray, grapeseed oil spray, whatever pan spray you have, use it. And literally spray each piece. You have to spray each piece so that it can like get that golden brown, like fried color that we're looking for. Now in regards to setting, 
Um, I use like the unfrozen French fry setting on my air fryer, but you know, stick to something that's like around the 370, 400 range. And then you want to check it after like 10 minutes. And this is how mine look. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip them, like softly flip them. If you have tongs, use tongs. I don't know why I didn't use my tongs. Use tongs. And just try to like flip them over on the other side so that, you know, you can make sure that they're cooked on both sides. Now, if you did the second method, which is just the straight egg into the flour method, then they're probably done by now. You can leave them off for like another four minutes. But definitely, if you did the first method, which is a three coat method, you want to make sure that, you know, they're thoroughly cooked. And so now I'm going to show you the difference. So this one is the, the second method. That's when you just literally throw it in the egg and then you throw it in the cauliflower. And then this one is the three coat method. So if you've made it this far into the video, now it's time for us to do the final step, which is coating our cauliflower nugget. It's your girl Chef Ashita with a special message. Have you been feeling tired, bloated, constipated, or you have stubborn belly fat that you feel like you can't lose? Well, guess what? I just created a seven day smoothie reset that you guys can purchase now on MissGoodiesKitchen.com. So if you guys ever tried Miss Goodies Kitchen, if you're in the New York area, then you guys know I have my famous smoothie detox that you could lose up to 10 to 12 pounds in 12 days. Well, I created a seven day smoothie reset for my subscribers and you can go ahead and purchase it now on MissGoodiesKitchen.com. Alright guys, it's time to coat these nuggets in some barbecue sauce. And speaking of barbecue sauce, I want you guys to go out and find your favorite brand. Me, I use Ray's, which is a keto barbecue sauce, but you can use Primal Kitchen, that's another great brand that's sugar free. Do your research and find something that's best for you. And guess what, if you don't like barbecue sauce, you can use hot sauce, you can use teriyaki sauce. Make it your own, and if you don't like saucy things, you can even take these nuggets and dip it into like honey mustard. Daya has a great brand. Just do your research and really get into it. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I want you guys to make this at home. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how this comes out. I'll see you guys next time at Miss Kitty's Kitchen. Bye.